This is the Motor Cop Chronicles podcast with the Midweek News. Join your hosts, Iceman and Holstera, two law enforcement professionals ready to offer their unfiltered opinions on the latest news from the world of law enforcement. No filters, no edits. So be warned, the content may be upsetting to some listeners. Sit down and hold up. This may get a little bumpy. Welcome to the Motor Cop Chronicles podcast, Midweek News. I'm your host, the Iceman. We got Freebird over here, and Holstera is on the telephone. I did, Good afternoon, everybody. I did look. I just want y'all to know. There's, I figured you'd there, have some there, kind of There's a little meme. delay going on. So, uh, yeah, like long. Well, because this hurricane don't want me to talk about it. <laughs> I can't help That's that. Why. So. Well, uh, yeah, I figured you'd have a good little meme of of Holstera up here. No, I just found out. I thought he was going to go to his office, but he wussed out. Well, if anybody doesn't, well, know, I didn't even Holstera, know if the office was Holstera struggling with power and Wi Fi out in uh, Florida uh, due to the storm. So yeah, we we were glad have you're, we're glad you're all right. power. We're glad you're okay, yeah, the- but you suck as a host. <laughs> <laughs> but I will I will tell you the. Uh, the I or the wonderful Highway 19 here that they built as a levee running through my county. It, I mean, it's it proved its its worth because everything on the other side of 19 is flooded and devastated. On this side, everything's dry. So, yeah, that um. Oh, there'll I be lawsuits. Say, was, there'll be lawsuits. People on the side that's uh, uh, flooded and shit be pissed because. Don't be, yeah, but know. I mean, historically, it floods all the time. That's common knowledge. You should ask one of your neighbors when you moved in. I'm just I'm suing because it just caused me stress. That's it. It caused it caused <laughs> you stress. It caused you stress. Everybody That's why I drive a lifted truck. It rains. We got to get through it. Anybody wants a good cigar? Go to mypatriotcigar.com. Use motor. Uh, use motor. Use promo code MotorCop15. And get fifteen percent off. Duke is in rare form tonight. Get fifteen percent off of your order, and uh, if you order hundred dollars or more, you get free shipping. If you send Holster one, he'll smoke it during the episode. I, I, you know, I'll let you finish, and then I'll go back to the cigars. What was you want a cigar? But no, no, no. Buddy, my call me. He he was in Key West this past weekend. Uh-huh. He said, "Hey, man, I we used to have a uh, a hookup for Cuban cigars." He said, "Hey, they got some Cubans down here." He said, "You want one?" I'm like, "Cubans yeah, ain't man. what they used to be." Give me, give me, give me a Cuban. I said, "Well, how much are they? Thirty dollars a piece for that son of a bitch." Better be good. Well, that ain't I, bad. No, I have paid a hundred dollars for a stick before. Yeah, there's there's a hundred and twenty dollars cigars out there. Well, if anybody I mean, would a, like a good Cuban, uh, used to be worth that. Well, yeah, if you would like anymore. a good T-shirt for twenty dollars. You can go to the Motor Cop Chronicles Etsy store or go to the website. I need to find that. And get you uh, uh, some merch if you want. Uh, Do not buy a holster. I ain't buying a holster, (laughs) Jack. Hey, 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 he sells the most. Somebody, when you buy all your own shit, it don't count. Uh, where you keep a tab? I got advertised, buddy. Do you get a tab on that? I can just, I can go and see who bought what. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Somebody, I like. I do want to throw out there. Somebody did go and uh, joined up on the website. Finally, I uh, appreciate that. And if you're listening on uh, audio or whatever, so if you want the merch, go get it. If you want more Motor Cop Chronicles, more episodes, which I put out another one last night. Uh, you can go join the Patreon. You can try it on ten day, seven days for free if you want. Uh, see what's on there. Yeah, and you get a cup. You do not get a cup do for you the free. Get a, you don't get a uh, coffee mug? Not, not for free. If you stay what after you, that you and decide to, uh, you you get free, you get to try, see what's on there for free for for so, seven so. days. All right. I'll after that, I'll after I'll that, try. if you want to pay, fine. I'll have to try it out. <laughs> because uh, oh, the, okay. me, cause when I ship that mug, when somebody joins as a crew member, it actually costs more I than $10. I know you lose money. I, I lose money. 
I so, know, but you know what? You gain a follower for e- life. Exactly. That's how I feel about it. Uh, if you anybody go. you've won the hearts and minds of the common man, I love it. Anybody I, is out there <laughs> listening uh, right now, and you are participating in the free T-shirt thing tonight on Facebook. What you, T-shirt thing? Wet free, t-shirt. free T-shirt. Oh, you, you have to. I was just out there, Gail. We're trying not to show up. Y'all are wearing white. You said wet free. Contest? What kind of t- wet T-shirt? Free T-shirt. Oh, free T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, T-bird. No, it's wet T-bird. 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 T-Bird, you heard, you see she's in the chat right now. You see what happens? He's uh, volunteering you for a wet T-shirt contest. Just well, letting you know. I, I, I just want. I, D- just I, letting I you know. I know we would take, I, I we would take I home first Mel place. Mel will win it. She's, no. Uh, no, no, no. I, we, T-Bird, take it home. Boy, she, I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, well the next time everybody's down, down, everybody next time y'all down, we we'll just have a contest. How's that? That's it. I'm down for a wet t-shirt so, contest. Yeah, everybody hears that, right? So, yep. now, everybody hey, gets uh, I tell you what, look at look at here, Jojo. I tell you what, y'all y'all gonna be in the world of shit with my with my nipples because I'm taking home the wet t-shirt, boy. I'm not voting for you for wet no, t-shirt. I, I, I believe it. I believe and, it, and I believe yeah, he would I, try. I can't it. believe you ain't. Because he was yeah, eating I bet Skittles. Yeah, basically got nipple piercings, and it's so weird. Oh hell no! No, man. the way I he eats take Skittles, pain, should, the way he eats could, Skittles should be I, a fucking crime. I was eating a handful before this, I got here, man. I this day, this you know, man, this man devours I, Skittles by the fistful. It, it's but horrible. he does it in such an aggressive way. T Bird bought it's, me it's like almost violent. She <laughs> bought me the monster size uh, box from Sam's of uh, Skittles. Well, speaking Didn't of, you like going to the hospital is, uh, recently where? for doing crazy shit? No, no, he just went there because he just, he just went retarded. Who's that? Uh, you? It, right me? for yeah. what? I don't know. I don't know. What but uh, you, when th- you went to the hospital, now you're telling me you eat an entire bucket of Skittles? Yeah. Yeah, I was what, two days what? away. I was two days away from dying from what they said. But now, now Skittles, Skittles, it's on. Well, yeah, it's on. Like don't call. What the fuck? Yeah. If I diabetes. <laughs> speaking of the Patreons, uh, yeah, yeah. we got Mister Jerry Jared, Jared Nitrous uh, from the Short Track Guys podcast. We appreciate him. He's a full crew member. I thought Jared was the uh, motor cop. Oh, he is the motor cop. Never mind. Look, y'all done fucked me up now. And got me. Yeah, I mean, like y'all making me have retarded brain. Stop it. Usually, I'm all right. Jared is motor yeah, cop for you. life. Y'all just got me completely yeah, messed is. up. We got Mister William G. Bo and Chad Jenkins is our hang around. We got uh, Mister John Domingue. We got Dan Jared. Cross with Burley Boards. Y'all check him out. He makes some uh, very Love nice Burley stuff. Boards. We got T Bird who's going to participate in a wet T shirt contest. We got Mister Jim Pokran with the Short Track, track Podcast, guys. We got our favorite truck driver, Hoppy Hoppison, which he hadn't been in the chat in a while. I wonder he where he's at. In a while. No, uh, we got Mr. Blake Walker. We got A.A. Ron, who's in the chat from the I Had to Say It podcast. Y'all go check him out. He puts out some good episodes. We got Mr. Z. Palmer. We got Roy Spaulding. That is Roy with the S, not Roy with the P. We got JoJo, our favorite girl from Australia, who's got to <laughs> jump in on, yeah. for five minutes. Uh She's on for five minutes. It's good to see her. Uh, we hadn't seen her in a we while. We got Kaylee Norris and Natasha A. from the state of Washington and our OG crew member, Melissa Holstein. Appreciate y'all. Yes, paying she, she's the bills. my favorite. Jim Holster is good. He's he's, uh, that's why he's calling in. He has no no power. Yeah, he's here. He just can't see him. Yeah. 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 Um, I, it, well, it is important to point out a fact, too, and I really hope it didn't affect any of our followers, but it may. Uh, several large trucking companies have announced these past weeks that they're completely shutting down and firing all the drivers. Um, so, if, you know, you're affected by that. We, we apologize. You know, y'all deserve better treatment to just show up on a Monday and find out you're all fired. Drivers for what? <laughs> like you know, big trucking industries. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> that's not no, good. No, not good. That, that, that's no, how I send that shit by a train. Got to do with these men and women driving. That's how our like shit gets here. Send that shit by a train. You want it? Put it on a train, a rail car. I It'll hate get to, to you. I don't know what. I've seen where yeah. you live. You do not have you a know, train station within a hundred feet of you. You know house. what I did here though? Mm-hmm. They have a shortage of, of pickle juice. You know, I hadn't well, had that one. That'll offend him. Yeah. Right. It, well, did you did you it, go over your stories, Mister Freebird? Which I know you probably didn't. I did. Oh, I, I did. went over mine, and I'm loving tonight. Well, I know I know my 
I'm the first one out the uh, box. I there, gave man. you the first one. I first sure one, did. I seen that. Wow. You know, and I got video. video. And, and I, I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna preface this by: this is where we need armed security with a water cannon. Water okay, cannon. Water cannon. So apparently, our oh, uh, left wing, cannon. probably a Spanish speaking. A uh, news crew got robbed. Of course, this is on the west side of Chicago. What they call that? The West uh, West Town neighborhood. And they was trying to do a report on crime, and uh, apparently they got robbed. I think they were doing uh, a report on, being, <laughs> on robberies when they got uh, they robbed. They were doing a report on robberies, <laughs> and, uh, you know, when you're in an area that uh, has a lot of robberies, especially Chicago, shit shit show chicago especially if you're carrying around a thirty thousand dollar camera but i yeah but what the what these dumb son bitches are gonna do with a camera they stole the camera which had the clip of the, what they were covering so the story yeah, but it was probably was it, broadcasted live the the story was in the camera no it never got uh the article the article said it never got posted so the story didn't get posted wow and they got their shit they lost their shit and personal items hey aaron said the west side is rough yeah yeah apparently apparently even the even the damn cameraman gets rubbed and they're like man we're trying to make your community better and advise people they're like i don't keep they, shit. They Give did me the say camera. some of the some of the uh talk with uh whatever the industry is or their little uh affiliated little groups uh they're talking about uh, security. Well, hell yeah. You stand out there with a... You, you hire some of these mercenaries that don't give a flying shit about anything. And, hey, right. if Besides somebody comes and property. steals us, you shoot them in the back, shoot them in the head, shoot them in the nuts. Who cares? Just <laughs> shoot them. And then we could, you know, you know, post well, that. Post I, that on TV. I, I have a, I have post a that on live TV. That shoot like that bastard in the nuts shoot and then post that on live TV. I'd like to see that. Well, that's, that's totally a Louisiana thing. It's that's some swamp people. You uh, even got Duke excited. Chicago is uh, having a slight crime problem, which is out of the ordinary. Uh, no, so. uh, <laughs> there's no crime in Chicago. It's it's a liberal paradise. Your brother had uh, Aaron says brother had some uh, was that a, a boo boo bus driver boo boo. Uh, on the west side, and he got some stories. Well, tell him to come on the damn podcast. Boo, boo, boo cat. That's it, right? We, we don't run it. We well, run I don't need, somebody. We want to see if it's. We want to see if it's really like that. That TV show Chicago Fire. Okay, it's yeah, do y'all not, really it's just not. do you just have sex with everybody that works with you? That's like Grey's. Like, what's going? Did on? you watch Grey's Anatomy? They don't have time to do surgery. They're too busy having sex with each other. It's it's a no. Yeah, they but, just it. I, this is a circle fucker. For but I, I mean, like realistically, I sit there next to my wife, and I was like, "Okay, I'll watch this. It has some action in it." And then the next thing you know, this one firefighter is banging this EMT, and then they break up, and then the same EMT is dating a different firefighter from the same house. And I'm like, "How the fuck? Like, y'all don't see this?" They pass. It's I, a circle. It's a circle fucker. Friends. Well, this ain't even a story I put up, but I read it. And y'all just got me wanting to say it now, talking about sex. Uh, do you know they got they they, they just assigning a new chief and over there in uh, was that uh, Val Day or whatever? In no Tennessee, where they had the uh, the girl running the train and the whole department got fired. Oh, okay. Oh, the the, yeah. she, the where, decent where she looking was girl that, into doing that. Yeah, they just they just uh. Hey, they, Kristen, you on? They put in a new a new chief, but you that, know what his last name that, is. Peterson. Meow. Yeah. Meow? Meow. Yeah, yeah. Meow. Meow. What uh Oh dude, no, that's coming over the radio. Now, now you can, so now what happened? Can, this, this was our decent looking girl that was like sucking and yeah, screwing there was everybody. Like, what, five, everybody. Five black dudes. All right, so what happened like with the chief? The chief had to step to down or Yeah, because he knew the, about it. So they, the chief was they, dipping in on it. No, too. he what, wanted what happened was he didn't yep, he didn't get a piece and they he screwed up and fired everybody and they he, turned around on him they knew he knew about it yeah oh i missed that part oh. yeah because you yeah sleeping. he wanted in on it Precious. and they, they, she was like yeah no you're too ugly i you, you got a little packer uh, yeah he got mad and he fired them, all the other guys. I, I guarantee you a couple of those guys probably had some donkey dicks look see that's why they needed well, that's what she said right 
she said that she had co- like called her husband during it and yeah. told him that it was like a huge as a like a baby's arm holding an yeah. apple. Yeah, so it felt like, like she just got, with a boot on it. got ran through by that uh, Vienna that that uh, Oscar Mayer Wiener uh, <laughs> truck see. or something. Uh, <laughs> right, she made a statement You're, like that, and then all of a sudden she's like, "I was coerced into having sex." Yeah, they with tricked all these me. How the fuck? They tricked what? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, it was it the trick. Out, hey, what up? It goes out there just I like thought you said you had a video. We had a video well, of him getting robbed? I don't know. It wasn't him getting robbed. It was just, but you uh, explained it well enough, and I'll have to play the video. See, because I did my homework. So you did your homework for once. I'll give you a D minus. <laughs> That's <laughs> well, passing. Ho- Holstera That's passing. is up next, uh-huh. and we're going to Kentucky. Okay. Mm. Uh, see, this is the. Uh, okay, there's this little story about this new rookie officer. So. The, the moral of the story here is it, watch what you do, people, because just as fast as you get a badge, you can turn around and lose it just as fast. Um, so a Kansas officer uh, was charged Kentucky. with a DUI. Kentucky uh, charged with a DUI and fired hours being sworn after being sworn in. Um, he was due to go to work the Sunday, <laughs> but decided he was going to go out and get blasted with his buddies and drive home. Uh, he wrecked the car. They arrived. He went to jail for a DUI, and he was fired before he could even attend his first shift. That is uh, basically the gist of the story. Like I'm saying, you can get the badge pretty quick by attending the academy. Um, I can tell you right now there's a high demand in law enforcement. If you get into it, it is a good career, but just know that there's a target on your back. Yep. We got video. Um, video, but, too. But not only that, when – Look, you're held to a higher standard, but you know whether you're girl, guy, it doesn't matter. If you go out there making a, your, yourself into an ass and getting drunk and acting stupid out in public and getting so sloppy drunk that you literally crash your car on the way home, and then when the cops show up, you just get out, put your hands behind your back, and you're like, "Yeah, let's go, <laughs> let's go." I know I'm going to jail. I got like he knew it. Uh, well, yeah. Let me get down. Hey, the how, for how long was he? A new LMPD. Oh, he, was, he was a cop he for just like, got out of the like a day or two or something. It, right. He never right. he yeah. never got to go ten eight. He never even got to ride in a police car working. <laughs> so he, got, remember, he, got, remember, he got fired uh, before he ever got to go to work. You remember swearing day when you get the job with the department to hand you your shield and they make you you know say the oath and all that shit. Anyway, so he attended that and they said, "All right, your shift starts in like three days." He goes out and gets shit faced hammered, and then gets pulled over. They were celebrating or because he crashed. It. He crashed. Yeah, they're probably celebrating that the guy. He should. He should have known better than the driver. Get a, get a like driver. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Uber home. Let's watch the video. That, yep. Sir is now fired after being charged with DUI just hours after he was sworn in on the force. LMPD says around two Saturday morning, Luis Rodriguez crashed into several cars that were parked near Frankfurt Avenue and McCready Avenue. Police say Rodriguez was still in the driver's seat when officers arrived and they believe alcohol was a factor in the crash. Rodriguez was arrested and charged with DUI. He had just graduated from the department's academy on Friday. His first shift with LMPD was set for Sunday. The oh, my God. He didn't even make a day? Out. That's what we said earlier. Where were you at? No, I knew, but I thought it might have been a day and a half. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to give him a half a <laughs> yeah, day. Yeah, he, 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 don't, he, don't, he don't listen real well. He didn't get to go. He never, like I no, said, he man, never went 10-8. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Well, I knew that. And about the arrest. Court records say that Rodriguez told officers he had been drinking at a bar with friends and was drunk. His blood alcohol level was 0.189. Oh, that ain't, that's some harsh shit number. 0.189, that's high. No. Point oh eight is legally drunk. Hey, no, here it is. It used to be is like that's that's getting started. It used like, to be, it, it, you know, it used to be point one here, Louisiana. It used to be point one, point oh eight. But this so point, point, now, here it's but, but this is point oh eight. It's like licking the damn but beer point, bottle. Point one eight is is almost point who two. The, who the hell? Who the hell licks a beer bottle? I don't know, but that's, that's what a, you can get a point oh eight from now. They, no, which it the should Biden be a beer every hour. The Biden body administration weight. wants to limit you to two beers a, a week. Uh, two beers a week. Fuck tards. Yeah, that won't happen. When that happens, look, we've already been taught as American citizens. Who the shit's going to watch me you know, drink my beer? You send a, you send no, a but, government official to watch me drink but, my beer? 
the BFI. Look, the, they have made it so <laughs> mainstream to make shit. your own beer at home nowadays that if they honestly did that, people would resist and just start oh, making. Did, did y'all see where they want to sign? I don't know if he might have signed it. This uh, it's about ceiling fans now. They want to make ceiling fans more energy efficient. Now this. Now the, the it's going to put a lot of small companies out of business because to redo all these ceiling fans, a lot of these smaller companies don't be able to afford all this new machinery and all this stuff like that. And the ceiling fans are going to cost more. And guess what the savings are? For uh, probably a nickel for six months, thirty nine dollars over the lifetime of a fan. I got a fan in my house that's twenty years old, so it's going to save you thirty nine dollars over the lifetime of the fan. What what well, you know what, what is the, what, what's the fucking house, right? what's the fucking point? All right, so hold on a second, y'all y'all keep talking. I'll do a little math. Three sixty five no, times so twenty. I'll tell you what. Seventy three hundred thirty five. Nobody, nobody gets to tell me house. what I get to put inside of my house. I, that's um, that's four could, that's four cents. Uh, an hour. Four cents a year, probably. No, it might be four cents a year. You're right. That was four cents a year. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> See, so, you how about I just <laughs> toss a nickel to it and y'all stay? The, 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 <laughs> stupid ass, man. This this world. But that's going what, that's what I'm saying because that one giant fan that you showed me, I fell in love with it, and I now have that big ass fan in every single room in my house. Yep. Well, this next one I have is on. Uh, what we've talked about recently do not jump into vehicles do not get any vehicle with the bad guy this is another one uh not not unless they're offering to take you to dinner not not even for with. not even for that so let's watch no, this video. Even if it's Taco Tuesday? Well, no, not that. Fired after not even for that. Taco, man. Just hour. This is just a uh, body cam video. It shows he looks young, but he walks up to the car. Dude, that dude looks like he's 15. The Mustang GT. Uh, he ends up getting the guy. I don't know why he pulled him over. He gets the guy out. As you can see, Probably I'm going to fast forward. This is long, but Probably. he gets him out. You know, I don't know. I think the guy said he had a gun in the console or something like that. But the guy's being very cooperative, and right up here, the guy goes for some reason goes gets back in his car. He, look, probably he, he probably asked him for some shit, and he's like, "Hey." He gets back in his car, and this happens. The guy, you see, now when the car took off, what did this 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 young officer just do? Right here, you can see him. At least he, he ain't getting dragged. He's short enough oh, to his feet. Ain't it even gets him. bad. But watch, he jumps in his car like a fucking rabbit. He could have just disengaged at this point, ran back to his car, and got in the car chase. Whatever. Watch, he jumped in there like a hey, rabbit. Jump in there and shut the key off. It, that didn't happen. Watch what happens. We're gonna that, go over. That it. never happens. Watch what happens. We're going to go up here. Especially nowadays, you got to press the damn button. This is the body cam footage of it. It, it was a going yeah, good on this stop. That. Go back to the chase. We need the chase. I don't need all this. I know. We've just seen all this. But this is the, from, this is the body cam footage. So we're going to start it right here from when the guy starts walking back into the car. So he gives him his shit, and then he just says, yeah, oh, so by the way, I I don't I left, know what he's going back to the car my, for. I left my blow-up doll in the car. Oh, he's trying to kick him off. No, he did. He kicked him out. Look. He hits the road right back here. He kicked him out the car. Thank God this cop wasn't hurt bad or nothing like that. But he don't do not jump into the vehicles, please. You're gonna get killed. I I don't know. I disagree. What you you, you think you should jump in the vehicle? I might would have. I I don't uh, I don't know. It's a split second decision. You, but you shouldn't do it. Why? Wow. I don't know. I'd have tried. Uh, I, I the the driver. Tried. I might would have tried, but the some bitch ain't kicking me out. The, I'm holding on to the steering wheel. The driver's name was uh, Jarvion Hudspeth. Oh, the deputy ended up did put a bullet in him, and he continued driving for half a mile before stopping. So at least he that's a good shoot though. Oh, did, where did when did he shoot? I guess when they were going down the road, he pulled his gun out and shot him. 
I guess. See, he tell he told the deputy he had a firearm in the vehicle, and uh, he asked to sit back in the cruiser, and the, well, the deputy searched, but he uh, went back and got in his vehicle and took off. When he took off the, uh, and he the deputy was in, there, he must have shot him. So he did get shot. Uh, he didn't die, but he did get shot. So, but don't jump in the vehicles. Don't jump. Don't in the play vehicles. cowboy. It's not worth it. We got we got too many abilities to stop a vehicle now. I mean, I I don't know what this new shit of happened to be pit certified. Like, do agencies require you guys to go through a school now? Nah, we, no, no, a lot of the papers don't there, want there you is, doing that. Well, shit. there is. There's a, but it ain't no pit school. There's an NAPD course that you go through as a NAPD driver. Well, I mean, we, we all had to do driving instructor class. So, I mean, you know, that was the basic, Hey, don't go down this lane at 30 miles an hour. You got to swerve to miss the object. We all did that, but you know, they didn't really train us how to pit people. It was just something we did. A way to stop the cars, it, but I know. Uh, well, that dude some doing it doing that last week, boy, he got pitted like a mother <laughs> mother freaker, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's why all the cops in twenty twenty three is the second we've seen it. They just a big shitting grin because it's been a while since we've seen cops going out and rodeoing. Well, that was a, a that like was a that. state trooper, which is going to leave me in right. my story. Well, we're going, yeah, we're going straight up to uh, Pennsylvania, I believe. Yeah, that that's my next uh, deal. Uh, up in Pennsylvania, uh, I guess uh, to be able to pit, you don't eat uh, 60 hours in college anymore. <laughs> so apparently uh, Pennsylvania has dropped their uh, requirement, uh, your college requirement uh, for uh, to become a uh, state trooper. So they've dropped that in uh, efforts to increase their enrollment. Oh, so, shit. so they you uh, before they must have had a requirement a sixty hour college credit uh, requirement. Um, well, down they, here a lot of the agencies have a four year. They want you to have a four year degree. Well, or I think, yeah, but they, you know this is this state this state police they don't they don't f around more. You you know the well, down here you know go uh, they, ba- n- they basically what they ought to do what they ought to do if you're gonna. Try to get your enrollment up from for dumbasses or people that don't really put forth an effort. Just go to the UFC. Just, just see if you can recruit, you know, an enrollment out of the UFC. You get a bunch of UFC fighters, and you ain't going to have no more trouble. Anyway, you get your ass. Well, well see, the, the, the state police here require you to go all the way through their academy, whether you're a cop or not. Well, this one has, um, several, they this do that. has several courses like – they don't have this requirement, but you still got to go through uh, four or five tests and then all the bullshit. Uh, Louisiana State Police here does the same thing. It makes you get through their academy. It's stupid. Yeah. 16 weeks of academy to write a ticket. I get, hell, I, well, I started writing tickets after 700 hours. I didn't Penn, need no 16 Pennsylvania's weeks. got to do something because you can go to California and pretty soon you go to Chicago, uh, Illinois and be a cop. You don't even have to be a citizen of the United States. Let's have college well, education. Well, yeah, to be fair, and, and, and let's talk about that, Ice Man. I'll tell you what. What kind of cop wants to go to work where they get victimized every day? And if they do their job, they end up going to jail for it. My, so, my in cousin. other words, they, they re they receive a paycheck just to show up at work every day and yeah. sit in a coffee yeah. shop. I tell you what, the my, my cousin works for a, a PD and he's got a buddy that's in Chicago. They got the shittiest shittest whole uh, policies and procedures you can imagine. Just a shithole of policies and procedures. Right, but at that point, just make friends with the neighborhood because at that point, they're the only ones that are going to back you because the department ain't. Yeah. Yeah. At that point, it's like, no, hey, man, hey, we all going to do something. Just have the have the ability to not do it directly in front hey, of you. Have that respect. It kind of it kind of reminds me of Elon Musk with the Department of Justice going after him for not hiring uh, uh, with a migrant workers. <laughs> yeah, they're not. He ain't he ain't for, hiring enough for, migrant workers for, for so the space this, for his SpaceX program. Yeah, SpaceX. But well, to I work mean, for he, he but to work for NASA, a, work for NASA, you legal, have to be a United States citizen. He said you. But he he did said it I'm correctly go. and became and became a U.S. citizen. He said I'm so going to go on by you. Correctly, at- why should he? Why should he be hiring people that didn't do it the right way? Exactly. That's that's my that's my point. Anyway, anyway. So this 
it's the same. It, it's along the same principle as this stupid ass Pennsylvania shit. Yep. And uh, now we're going over to New Jersey with whole Sarah. We got quite a bit out of New Jersey area on this one. Oh, I think this is my favorite story. Hang on a minute. You think you didn't do your homework? Yeah, I'll be taking care of the conversation with my son later. He's deciding to be a brat to my uh, wife. Oh, that's an ass. That, back yeah. in the day, my mom would whoop my ass. Uh-huh. That wooden spoon. Uh-huh. Hey, no, not that. She hit me with a hammer one time, boy. That's man. what's wrong with yeah, you, right Ooh. in the head. My dad got Damn. home. My dad, she said, you wait till your dad gets home. My dad got home. He felt so bad. He's like, I, I ain't even. Well, I, I ain't going to whoop you, boy. Your mom, your mom always whipped your ass to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I my mean, dad, my mama was only five foot two. My dad she felt was a little so bad. southern woman. I mean, hell, she, I tell you what, she come out with that wooden spoon. You did not play around with her. She'll beat you to death with it. I needed medical attention. And I didn't get it. No, I'm scarred today. <laughs> so go- this is a beautiful story out of New Jersey that I hope sweeps the entire nation. New Jersey officer to be reinstated after being fired for using cannabis. A judge pointed out, and we've discussed this many a times on this show, uh, that the city failed to provide any evidence demonstrating that the officer's off-duty cannabis use had any impact on her job performance. So, uh, Jersey City, New Jersey, uh, had to go to court with this young lady in front of a judge where the judge actually points to case law that protects their uh, ability to uh, utilize marijuana on their time off as long as it did not affect their daily activities in law enforcement. So they actually determined that the city was in fact wrong in terminating her and forced to rehire her. Now, would I want to work for that department? No, not after that. But it is it is nice that she was able to obtain justice for uh recreational marijuana no, that no, legal. no justice the bitch needs to lose it, a job it was it was legal to consume and possess in new jersey in 2000 they have pop but they have policies against it bullshit i don't, don't want matter. i don't want to don't be matter. working alongside of some motherfucker that might have ate some shit the, Look, the day before, no, I, I, I don't dude, know. If you want to be a cop, you can. Has, if you want to be a weed head, be a weed head. Don't if you want to be a cop, in front of your face. Don't if if you want to be a cop, be a cop. You can't be both. But how? But that's a little hypocritical, isn't it? No, it's not. It's still against federal at law. One, at, at, at one point, alcohol was illegal, right? Yeah, but it, now it is legal. Just like, just like, but it's legal. It's it's be, it's legal. Illegal, but it's legal everywhere. But I'm sorry, if you want to if you want to carry a gun and enforce the laws, don't be getting high. Oh, you mean on your personal time? Yeah. Okay, well, the same what about, applies to alcohol. So it, how it, many times have you what, came home and had a drink and still went gummy. to work the next day? I have never drank, had enough alcohol in me where I went to work the next day where it would even register. Right. You, what do you think? There's some magical weed out there that you can yeah, smoke. Yeah, weed registers in your body. It stays in your body for 30 days. You don't know. It has nothing to do with that. You it has know. to do with the effects. Don't matter. How you know it's not affecting them people different? Nope. Right. You shouldn't even I know make, that they're doing it. Make your mind up. Cop or weed. Be one or the other. No, sorry. I, 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 think, you, I think you could do both. I, I, I disagree I mean, with both of you. You don't, I, you don't want to ride down the interstate, according to Miss Miss Karen, Blowing your vape out the window and you riding down the interstate. She that's not. Call, that's not she illegal. Call in saying saying vaping you, is you, not right, illegal. You go. You go down the interstate it smoking looks like weed. Proper cause to pull you out of your car. Well, pull I, me out the car then. How long ago was that? You got that old lady car. Oh, said you a couple weed. months ago. But I'm just saying. Sure. I just I, I I just you know we agree to disagree on this one because you can either make your choice if you want to enforce the law. 
Don't well, smoke the what weed. If you, what if you've been California, in California? What, what about these what, states where were, they're making fentanyl legal? So I can go get fucked hey, up on no, fentanyl and no, come back no, to work? No, 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 it's the no, same no, shit. No, but what, what if your duty belt been riding on your waist for 20 years and you're hurting so bad that you need to toke a little bit to feel better? I do have pain every day, so, there, but I don't toke on, but, but I don't toke but on nothing, do prefer, I? But what if you prefer that over taking a handful of pills? I don't take a handful of pills for it. I deal with it. I deal with it. You do, <laughs> but there is reason for it. Uh, but I tell you what, they get a medical, re- they get a medical if, retirement if and go legal, smoke your weed. If I, it, if it is legal in your state, I think you should have the ability to do it on your own. Not if you're law enforcement. As long as it does not affect your ability to do your job. Now, if you were caught on the job either smoking it or acting high. You would immediately be drug tested. You know, how you, that would be used as a reason to get rid of it. Well, you're going to test positive. So I used it when I was off because it stays in your system. And I don't want to work with this person. Let's say you pull over somebody that's got a shit ton of fucking illegal weed they're not supposed to have. And I, I'm working w- with five weed heads. Uh-uh. These motherfuckers are going to be wanting to take a little little dime bag home for themselves. No. I- I, I really think that you have very little faith in the caliber of people that now smoke marijuana. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I just make the choice. No, it's the same thing as alcohol, boss. Then you would technically be saying the same thing. You would have if to alcohol, alcohol was alcohol. illegal to consume. If it was illegal, I'd be breaking the thing. law. So, I'd be breaking so, the law. If alcohol so was illegal, I'm breaking the law. Well, yeah. I mean, at this point, we all know how to make it ourselves. So anyway. Um, I got a bunch so of you're out. saying if they t- tomorrow the state of Louisiana voted to make marijuana legal 100 percent for every citizen, you're saying you wouldn't work side by side with somebody that could smoke it on their free time just as you enjoy alcohol. Nope, nope. That's what I'm saying. 100 percent. 100 percent. Wow. I don't know, man. I don't know. I used to be. I, I, I think, used to be. I that think hard, you got it. I used to be that hard uh, staunch on it. I ain't anymore. I, I ain't anymore. No, it, I've I've literally seen it help relatives. Like for instance, I, I, I agree. It does help. I, I'm not saying it don't help. Handful of pills a day. I'm saying it don't. I'm they, not saying it don't help people. Do that. I'm not saying it don't help people. It does help. I'm, people. I'm, I'm saying I, I, I didn't say it don't. I said, but if you want to do it and use it, make your choice. Do, no, do it on your own time if it's legal in your state. I'm sorry. So, we'll, we'll argue about that forever. We'll move on. But, yeah, that's why I put that one in there. Well, that, I knew yeah, we would that's argue about you, it. You got a guy serving life in your state for having a dime bag, and you think it's okay. I mean, that's it's a little fucking crazy, man. There's a time that he sorry. got, whatever the time he got arrested for all that, it was uh, different. Who? What you talking about? It's not different. The man was still arrested with a bag of weed and punished well, the but it, Yeah, but it, but it wasn't. It, it, yeah, but how many? It, 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 they, uh, it was the third time he got caught with shit. It yeah, wasn't just the third never, time. You, that, that, see, they habitual the offender too. Third time, third time here is a felony. Cause I, I but that's on. the thing. That's the thing. Is he, I mean, he shouldn't be in jail in the first place, especially when half of the United States has now legalized it, especially for the rest of his life. Okay, well. I grew a belly. I, I'm smoking weed down the road, I guess. I don't know. I can't because of my job. Ah, thank you. You made a choice. That was my point. Make I don't know, but I, I would like to partake in a gummy every now and then. I could, yeah. They're not as good as you think. Yeah, they are. Chocolate and gummy together are. Oh, I don't know anything about this. Well, I, I do. Let's go to North Carolina. And uh, in North Carolina, <laughs> they are they're changing the laws. Uh, they're changing the stuff uh, with juveniles, which I do agree with this one. The laws, uh, it's House Bill 186, and it's known as the Lyric in Devon's Law, and it was signed in the by signed in the law by Governor Cooper on this past Thursday. Uh, basically, what this does is uh, if you know, like juveniles now, you're not allowed to put pictures of them out or their names and all this shit like that. Well, now over here in, in uh, North Carolina, if they uh, between the class A and F felony, if if they uh, com- uh, violate any of those, 
they can put their pictures and names and stuff out there. But once they've been caught, they have to pull it down. But you know, once it's out there, it's out there. But I think it's good because, like here in Louisiana, they changed the shit where juvenile used to be 16 and below. Now they made it 17, 17 and below. Yeah. And a look what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Shit bags. It's crazy. freaking insane. Shit bag crazy. Yeah. And most so. of, and, and they done that shit. And most of the stupid ass little bastards that are doing it are 14, 15 years old. Yep. So why even worry about the 17 year olds? So they, and they know what the hell they're doing. So, but anyway, that's a good thing over there in North Carolina. Finally got something right. This next one is, I, I do have a video. Oh, and, uh, this is, is for, for. You got a video for me? Yeah. Just up around, uh, I think, Louisville or something like that. You didn't look at that one? Who, me? Mm-hmm. What? I'll play the video. You're just sitting there with your finger in your butt or something. No. I don't, you're not. Yeah. That ain't my story. Yeah, it is. We done saw this story. Not this one. Yeah. yeah. Charged with kidnapping a guard at the city jail this week. First alert four confirming tonight Anthony Newberry and five others are being charged in that, that hostage story. incident. I don't yeah. have Yeah, it is. Okay, let me look. Anyway, these, all six of these guys right here, they were already in prison, and now they got more charges on them now for uh, kidnapping a guard and, and beating them up and all stuff like that. I mean, they all look like, you know, choir boys and uh, altar boys, right? Uh, no. Hopefully they get they were on their way to church. Oh, see, the no, name, they were in jail. Remember, I, I don't get to see anything. I'm calling in. No, the they names, were in jail. The names jack, got jacked up. Mine and Hostera's name got jacked up. We appreciate that. Yeah, whatever. Charging documents also show Newberry punched the corrections officer, stole keys, up. and unlocked inmates, releasing them from their cells. Newberry is being held in the downtown jail accused in a 2021 murder. His case is yet to go to trial and was just delayed again by city prosecutors. Tonight, only first alert for Chief Investigator Lauren Traeger oh, reports Newberry's fiance says for months now she has been begging this. We're watching a uh, video. You you don't have oh, pictures okay. of when he was 12, like um, who did one of one in Baton Rouge that he was 12? I don't uh, know. No, yeah, the one that's selling the CDs. Again. I know. Yo. Out in Sterling. Out in Sterling yeah, man, yeah. when he was 12 and he mm. was such a good kid. What about these kids? What about these well, dudes? That we just used their jail photos. So. Oh, you don't. Oh, I'm sure that mama, the mama's. Oh, wait. Mama we're got, mama we're, got pictures we're, we're of gonna, we're gonna have a Dessa tail when he was 12. No, we're going to have a girlfriend come up soon. And, and you know, <laughs> it, it's fucking hilarious. You need to help with conditions inside the CJC. It's just hard to talk about. This is the girlfriend. What the fuck is she crying for? Because <laughs> he's innocent of that murder. Uh, uh, yeah. He done, thought, he done all this shit. He done all this shit, but you get, a, you get bet. No, he didn't commit no murder. I thought this was a tranny at first, but... <laughs> Just last week, Morgan Bank had that ain't, she, knew she looks a little bit like Precious. Put no, them side by no, side. No, of no. Don't do that to Precious. Precious does not no. have nothing. Well, I mean, if she, if she's been eating from all that fame, it might be. Uh, she, Precious ain't on this one. This is the bad guy, the main one. What kind of mustache she got there? That's Something a, was wrong with her. That's, I don't know what that is. It probably from kissing her. Is that a, a, <laughs> <laughs> That's a prison mustache. Yeah. It's a, it's a little ball tickler. Anthony Newberry. Anthony is my, my family. So I'm going to be there with him. Standing by his side through through the whole process, I go to every court day. Every court day, I'm there. Newberry is accused in a murder from May of 2021. Bankhead says he's innocent. He's fighting no charges. But with well-reported upheaval in the circuit attorney's office, Newberry's case has been pushed back time and again. Every time he would go to court, it would just get continued and continued and continued. Even his trial, set to start last week, got pushed to October. In the meantime, a fight with another inmate, Bankhead says, landed Newberry in the hole. Has he still been in segregation, like, up until now? Yes, he's been in the house since. April the 20th. A former corrections officer herself who left the jail in 2019. <laughs> she ain't been don't, in the hole. Don't, don't you be, love that shit? I bet now, you he been she, in the hole. She, she fucking used to work at this place. Now she's... <sighs> I bet you. She, I bet you he been in the hole. I, I been to all his cold He been days. in the hole since... Yeah, he been in the hole already. And, and 
I make sure that he got some some money for his commissary so he get his honey buns. Bankhead says the hole is horrible, meant to be horrible. punishment only for a few days, not for months. He just stuck in there. Oh, Stare, are you hours. still around? Where's he at? He yeah, I'm here. Oh, Remember, he, I can't see. He it. can't see or hear. Oh, so he's just sitting there. <laughs> Send us a picture. What you look Newberry, like. she says, now cannot see visitors. He gets one phone call, she says, a he month. Just a that that he what a month. And he's, a, he's been a piece of shit in jail. <laughs> he has been a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit from day one, and he ain't getting no better. So don't just get your call next month. <laughs> Sometimes. And he begging for a shower. And they won't allow him to get showers. They don't even give them people salt, Lauren. Since April, Bankhead has been... She said they don't even give them salt. Salt water. <laughs> Did she say salt? What did she say? Let salt what? That. Salt say. what? Get showers. They don't even give them people salt, Lauren. Since April, Bankhead has been salt. writing to city the, corrections What the leaders. hell is she saying? I think the guy's name, but salt. I guess they not, they not, they not don't get to season their food. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's like that's a fucking important, right? Okay. Uh, they just don't so throw you in the fucking hole for no reason. This, who is she sending this long, d- stupid ass? Please help my inmate. It says, "Good morning, all. My name is Morgan Bankhead. I am reaching out to seek assistance with my visitation, seeing my fiance Anthony Newberry, who's being housed at the CJC." I was informed by caseworker Gordon that I've been suspended from seeing him, but she couldn't give me a reason. I'm traveling to CJC and spoke with Tammy Rose, who informed me since I was a former employee, I wasn't allowed to visit. She informed me to reach out to Spear to get it resolved. On Thursday, I reached out to Mr. Spear and he and was rudely transferred. He didn't allow me to explain my reason for calling. When he answered the phone, he stated, is your reason for calling regarding an inmate? I answered yes and was transferred. I sent emails to the facility, which I haven't received any messages from in return. I decided to go to the director where, of public where safety. Where in this country? Go ahead. Where in, the, where in this country do you get to go to jail and your friends get to come hang out with you? I don't know. But she, she's complaining, of course. Apparently, well, I, this fucked. Where they at? The CJC. Where they at? This is in Louis. I don't know. Louisville or somewhere. I don't know. Holster, where's this at? But it's they, your story. I don't. It ain't my story. Um, well, whose story is it? Anyway. Yours. Oh. That's, <laughs> the, one that, that's the one that was effed up. Just, or, the names was. But the, like, mine I, I don't understand name was it. Me. I mean. I've been at several jail facilities that, you know, they house you there. And if you need to do a court hearing, they bust you in. Um, I I don't remember, you know, if, of course, I don't have a lot of friends well, that go you to know, jail, know, so jail. I don't know if jail now is supposed to be a safe space. Concerned about Newberry's what treatment. The hell? One instance yeah, yeah I heard it. about that. Like people starting to have cell phones and shit. In jail is yeah. normal. Yeah, no, no it's was, not normal. He was wrongfully maced. Concerned about Newberry's How she treatment. Know that? One instance detailed a time he was wrongfully maced, she says, and was denied a shower. He treated video. as if he is not a person that he don't have rights while he's inside of an institution. And what these correction officers have to understand, these people are innocent. Yeah, she can't take a shower inside the prison. She even wrote a letter to Mayor Tashara Jones at the end of last month. Do you feel like you're being ignored? I'm definitely being ignored because they like, she ain't nobody. Fast forward to Tuesday, a hostage situation. A corrections officer held against his will, Newberry, one of the five detainees involved. She didn't try to pull the race card, but she... That's precious. Well, she looks like precious. No, uh, well, he was the main, the main uh, he must be instigator. He must have been, he's the main instigator in this, this house situation when his guard got Yeah, out. well, yeah, he smacked and stole so, the keys and yeah, shit. Yeah, and I released mean, other people. Like, like, like he yeah, was. He, he wouldn't was, be getting visitation, I'm sorry. Well, he ain't going to be getting on for a very he, long he time now. He's been for a while, so that bitch can cry and moan mm-hmm. about her one phone call she a month. She better go buy her a dildo. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, because, I just don't get it. Because that's the you only know, you fucking You hear about it gonna... inside of certain prisons where they get the, uh, it's like, the visit, so you're, on, visit, you're on trial. Your right. shit ain't even come up, and you're gonna do this dumb shit. No uh, obviously, obviously, uh, re uh, what you call it? Re uh, how do you re uh, 
Re-education? Yeah, re-education and... Re- well, not rehabilitation. Rehabilitation, yeah. Obviously, rehabilitation does not work for some people, and it is not... Well, it, do- it, it doesn't is not work, period, working. anymore. They're, apparently, <clears throat> this dude has no uh, concept of... Uh, well, uh, per, uh, the old school... Corporal punishment. The old school American what? way a jail was ran was trying to get these inmates more education, trying to help them better themselves. Now, they're just throwing the jail cells and locked in there for 12 hours a day. This this Um, mug wants to just steal keys and punch a guard. Well, listen, y'all listen, watch how old this guard was, too. This is tragic. Because I would never expect him to do nothing like that. I just feel like Anthony lost his mind. He definitely went insane. Due to the treatment that he was getting. Bankhead says she feels for that corrections officer who was injured. She says she even knows him and she believes that Newberry would be sorry for hurting an elderly person. Oh my we God. Asked- yeah, she believes Jack shit. She got her head so far up her ass, she can't believe shit. She probably, he, she probably, her, her one phone call a month, he probably said, Baby, I'm sorry. I don't really, I didn't really mean it. I, I, I ain't mean it, girl. I'm sorry. I ain't mean it, girl. Well, you know how old the guy was? Uh, 72 years old. Oh, yeah, that's a piece of shit. Oh, God. That is a piece of shit. Yeah. And the, and the other guards let him get back to his cell? I don't know how, how he got out and all that stuff like that. I do know. I did read on, uh, uh, they had another one on there, uh, which I want to state on here that, you know, somebody said, well, because, you know, they held him hostage for a while. I worked in the state penitentiary before, and uh, they let you know ahead of time. If you get held hostage, there's no negotiations with them, period. They're not negotiating. So you better just, you know, pray the Lord above or whatever, because they're not going to negotiate with these people at all. So, I mean, you know that going in. You know that going in, so. But this guy's a piece of shit, and his his girlfriend. Oh, he's he just must have went crazy. It's so crazy. He's a good man. Probably he's he went a crazy. good man. He he's went crazy because he only got one phone call a month. He's not guilty. He's been in the hose, ho. She said. Yeah, she I mean, said you been have, a, he been in the hose since April. A uh, hoe. I mean, you got to admit, Ice Man, that you know there's a lot of really good sheriffs have like an emergency response team for that. To get those guys in there and get the fight and everything shut down immediately. Oh yeah, well they oh, were yeah, going they got, in. They, they got, got tactical teams. Yeah, they the tag team went in. Yeah, uh, and once the tag team went they in, got tactical teams. You ever seen that big electrifying damn shield that they got? That it's electric got that, shield. Oh yeah, that electric oh, yeah. shield will light a mug up, son. That's some bitch. Must have a taser it must everywhere have it touches. Fifty prongs in it to <laughs> stick in you and shock your ass with this big ass clear shield. Yeah, don't shield. don't ever let don't with ever buttons, let somebody get with drunk in a party with one of those. But they need a water cannon. They need a water cannon well, in the jail. Well, this one is go. We're going back to North Carolina. Uh, you can clean the floor at the same time with Holstera. Yeah, exactly right. You can oh. get janitorial services with a water cannon and crowd control and ass water yep. control. All right, so this is a facility member that fatally shot inside of the campus building, uh, to the University of North Carolina. So basically, it's a really weird story the way it folded out. Somebody got shot that worked inside of the uh, the university. Um, the cops immediately swarmed the entire area, started evacuating classes and all this stuff. Um, it, it took apparently several hours to get people out of the building simply because they don't know where the shot came from. It wasn't repeated shooting. They just murdered that facility member. Um, so apparently I think they have somebody that they're looking at. No, the guy's in custody. But, um, it, okay. Can't, I don't know how to say his name. He's like, uh, he's Chinese. Uh, he's actually from Either way, it Wuhan, wasn't like China. a mass shooting. It was just like he shot that person yeah, and left his, so the cops were It confused. was actually his... Uh, his uh, mentor there or whatever, or his person that was supposed to be helping him. Yeah, so we'll never get an answer on what the hell that was about. But um, anyway, so that all crazy shit happened. Um, But the problem was that I see with the situation is there was a false all clear given um, where the school actually told everybody, hey, we got it under control. Go ahead and get out. 
go back to your normal duties. And then about two hours later, they go, yeah, we messed up. He's been out here the whole time. You need to hide now. <laughs> um, that's, that's, that's bad. That's a bad communication between law enforcement and camp, campus officials. Um, I, that part shouldn't have never happened because if it was an active shooter, there would then now be a lot more dead people and it would be the university's fault. Um, do you have a video or no? Uh, well, it's just, I got a video that talks about basically the guy that did it. Uh, don't, don't rely on video. Uh, we don't, don't, we don't, don't, we don't, we don't need to use it. Like I said, the guy, he went to LSU. The guy was like super fucking smart, uh, with all the class he was taking. So, who knows? Uh, and he, like I said, he he went to some Wuhan, Wuhan China school and stuff like that, and he did into all these biologies and all of that kind of crap. He probably that we can't say, and he probably I don't know. He, he just, probably started the Ebola, but not the uh, Corona. The, the corona. <laughs> he might have. I don't know. I, I corona, have no Yomona. idea. So I don't. I don't think the guy was a. a he might not. Even, he might have been an exchange student or something like that. I don't know. This next one is mine. We're going to California. Uh, I'm gonna warn y'all now. Uh, I got I got some shit to say about this story. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna play the video first, and then we're gonna talk about it. Because uh, this one's gonna I posted it on Facebook too. Like I said, this one in California is gonna it pisses me the fuck off. Come with on. kidnapping a yeah. guard at the city jail this week. First alert four confirming tonight. Oh, Anthony and you at 11, no cops allowed. That's what the San Francisco Police Officers Association claims is the policy of a restaurant in the Mission District. They're showing us the emails to prove what they call a bigoted policy. NBC's Gia Vang is in the city with the very latest. Why don't they see this, motherfuckers? Starts in all caps, no cops allowed. The San Francisco Police Officers Association, or SFPOA, said that's the policy of Reams, California. The restaurant has two locations in the city, one inside the ferry building, but the location on the mission at 25th and Mission is where SFPOA President Tracy McRae claims one officer encountered anti-police bigotry last weekend. And he was told by <laughs> one of the workers there that uh, they had a policy where they didn't serve people in uniform who were armed. You know, I just was like, you know, here we go again, you know, with this crap, basically. In yep, January, crap. Pizza Squared on Brandon Street fired an employee after asking Politically correct put crap. You're right. Why don't, see, why don't the uh, police union put out a commercial but lasting these fuckers? Well, Watch. Watch what they do. Oh. Leave. And in December of 2021, Hilda and Jesse restaurant in the city's North Beach neighborhood made national headlines after asking three uniformed police officers to leave. The owners later apologized for that. Right now, a sign posted outside of Reams and on its website says it's closed temporarily. We reached out to Reams after <laughs> <the hours laughs> yeah, right. back. But SFPOA sent us the email response they say they got from Reams on August 23rd, saying simply, at Reams, we do have a policy not to serve anyone that is armed and in uniform. Adding officers are welcome when they're off duty and not armed. Hey, if that's your policy, Jen, just post it for everyone to see. Right. Why would you even have what dumb fuck liberal retard would even come up with a policy like that? Because obviously you want some of your patrons to feel uh, safe. And if you got a cop sitting there in uniform, you know, damn good and well, if somebody comes up in there, tries to take your shit, they're going to get shot at. Not not in California fucking retards. <laughs> Officer in this case said in a statement he was disappointed. Officer Vincent Fontella said in part, I politely left because I believe that police officers and community members should spend I, more time listening uh, to each Aaron, other than I, shouting I, at each other. You can stand out there with a water can and shoot these bastards when they come out. Money is no good. <laughs> Meanwhile, the SFPOA claims making this public is just awareness for all like them. Listen to this reporter and listen to this uh uh, police officer association woman talking <laughs> like what she has to say why put out this publicly why not just tell your police officers to not go to this establishment well obviously because their policy says anyone in uniform so we're not the only police officers are the only ones wearing uniforms in san francisco gia Vang, nbc bay area New well, so yeah, that's why they that are armed uh, they, with a uniform they, I mean. they put it out all right so this Reams Bakery in uh, California, they have two locations. Obviously, they they said on uh, they have uh, 
if you go look on Facebook, I posted this thing they put out too. It says these ain't the dumbasses that put a sign on the door. It said cops can't eat here or something. No, right? no, this is a whole different restaurant. Uh, okay. No, the the police the police association made a sign up made a sign up that says police can't eat here and said here look we made the sign for you just hang it up so we know we're not welcome and everybody else knows we're not welcome. Uh, my thing is is uh so if they're in San Francisco which is a shithole anyway uh, so if a bad guy comes in there with a gun and starts robbing them. The police should just wait outside. Yeah, and because that's what I was going to say. Yeah, we should just the police should just wait outside till the bad guys decide to come out, since they don't want us on their property with guns. So we'll just. Hey, you know what? You, you know what? Senator Kennedy said it the best when he said, "If you don't like a cop strictly because he's wearing a badge, the next time you're in trouble, yep. call a crack call kid. a crack kid." But you know, Call and, they, a crackhead. and they're because like, why should why should we put our life on the line for your ass? We still will, but we shouldn't. Don't don't try to outrun. <laughs> don't try to outrun a crackhead. There are <laughs> there's a uh, on the thing. It's like you know, if, if people want to come in that are not armed and and enjoy our delicious <laughs> Arab food. First of all, the only thing good to ever come out of what Arabia is what is oil and camels. I, I, hey, I, yeah, I've never heard. Still, I've never there known is, them. You there still is want good food. You still want a double hump camel? I want no. I want a single hump camel. But, uh, no, I thought you wanted a double hump. Oh, uh, that that one's not pregnant. But this, ba- I hope, I hope, but it's in San Francisco. It probably won't happen. I hope they go the way of Bud Light. Mm. But you have enough. Go woke. You, go broke. you have enough rainbow people and, and alphabet people are in there. That'll probably go eat their. I don't know, dried up fucking bread or whatever they're serving over there. I know if they had any around here, I can tell you what I would do on my day off. I would get a they, fucking. They'd go, out, they'd go out of business. I, I would. I'd be at a big fucking sign on my day off, and I'd be walking back and forth in front of their shit, saying these people don't support the police. Don't eat here. I know. Well, see, that's what I would. And that, that that's is all for the take. police union. I would put a commercial out. So blasting. Hopefully, these piece of shit motherfuckers. Go well, out no of, I hope they go out of union, business. They probably will. The police unions are pretty good about that. Hopefully they go out of business. Or hopefully, you know what? If any any crackheads and shit like that are listening to me in California, or if you're in California and you, in. and you know go some crackheads, go, go to this place and just take whatever you want because they don't want the cops there at all. Just, just go in there. Piss on the floor, yeah, shit on the bread, the do whatever the camp. fuck you want. Yeah. The food, the, don't a, pay your bill. Don't pay your bill. And I guarantee you, if they call the police because you didn't pay your bill, fuck it, I'd take three hours before I got there. <laughs> yeah, I got a sorry. It's a priority five call. We're going to eat dinner first. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're eating at a place sorry. that likes us. Sorry, I had to pick rocks out of my tires. It took us three hours. Yeah. All right, uh, Freebird, this next uh, one's yours about the off-duty correctional shit. officer. Shit. Already? Uh, okay. All right. Give, give me a second here. Uh, what? Is, oh, why he's looking? Yeah, I was going to say uh, this. Uh, there, a lot of the comments are like, well, it's yeah, a private yeah. restaurant. They have the right to do what they want to yeah, do. Yeah, no shit. But, but on the private restaurant, didn't you have a bunch of gay people sue this the other place? Cause, cause they the did, because they, they didn't, didn't want to make a cake. Because they didn't make a dick cake or something. So, I don't know. Like, like a, a penis going into a, a, <laughs> a penis. Know, a penis. <laughs> A penis going to a penis. <laughs> a penis, a penis, going penis on a penis. penis. I don't Your know. logic Shit. never fails. It's like, no, they cannot. It's against the law to make cockfighting cakes. So, uh, cakes. this, this goes up. This go. Are you through? Can I go? Yeah. <laughs> I can't see you, son. Really, damn it. So this goes all the way up to Colorado. Apparently, there was a, a off duty uh, corrections officer. Uh, uh, exchanging gunfire with a man who attempted to carjack her. This is, well, there's a Philadelphia, uh Colorado. Is that, am I reading that right? It says the CO. Oh. That never happened shot. No, no, this state. is, this got to be in Philadelphia. Okay. Uh, I, the first part of this title was CO, so that must be a command. That's a correctional com- officer. Or, or commanding officer. Shit, I don't know which one. It's a correctional officer. T-Bird, take him to the eye doctor get him new focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, apparently there's a 35-year-old corrections officer, CO, 
uh, you know, slang, uh, was filling up her BMW. <laughs> Ooh, boy, corrections must be paying good, man. Uh, at a gas station when an armed man walked up behind her, grabbed her, and put her in a bear hug from behind. And a physical altercation ensued as the man attempted to steal her, her car, her, her Beamer. Uh, the, the corrections officer then pulled out her gun and uh, two shots. And the two shots. So anyway, she other. started blasting. Hell yeah. She only shot twice? Hey, no, no. It says a total of 11 shots were fired. Uh, the woman was struck twice in the leg. The suspect, 22-year-old man, was shot in the back and leg. That's it? Fuck it. Why? Shoot him in the face. Right crippled? between the eyes. Well, she's a correctional officer. She ain't it sounds shoot like, that often. It sounds like, you know, he fucked around and found out. How does he even make it to the news? I don't know, because she was probably... I don't know. She's probably an illegal immigrant. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm just glad I, that, I, I don't that the know, bad but guy right got now, if, if Mel or If Mel or Pam was out getting gas, and they're not even corrections officers, and some crackhead grabs her up like a teddy bear and is fighting her and trying to steal her car, and she caps somebody's ass, I'll give her a high five on that one. I, no, I tell you what. You, you if don't you, get to manhandle my wife and steal her car. My my daughter, I got my daughter's 20. 25 and 98. 25. Yeah, she's 24. Sure. Shit. She was born in 98. She's What's in her 20s. 98. Yeah, she's going to kill now. <laughs> she's in her 20s. She, well, she's 25. She carries a knife on her. She'll carry it in her boot and in her pocket. Shit. You come up behind her and try that shit, she will stab 15 holes in your ass like Boudreaux with his skin on a canoe. Tell her you know, stab him you know somewhere. Why like does she want to stab like him in her ass? Grizzly bear. She will stab your ass Don't, all over. Why you want to stab him in the ass? But it, because I, I that to, makes it hard to sit, and you sit fifty percent of your lifetime. I try. I tried to. Yeah, stab well, him I, in the ass. That, no, not in the ass, because that's the safest part of a knife uh, in your ass fat. So uh, I that's told okay. her. That's okay. It'll make him suffer. Say, you, it's not you, the same. You hit that son of a bitch in the, right in the throat, then you slice the throat, then you stick the son of a bitch right in the sternum, and then you know right then in the you, side and then twist you that motherfucker. Spray him with a water hose, and then hit him with the water can, and call your buddy with <laughs> the yep. water can. Shoot him down the street with yeah, salt water then, can. Bl- yeah, blood. You wash the blood off after he done squirted. Malin you know. says she was born in ninety seven, and she'll be twenty six this year. So yeah, twenty. Okay. All right, Malin. Yeah, my daughter's 25. You said she was born in 95. She was born in 98. Oh, 98. Okay. 98. That's, that's She's in her mid-20s. <laughs> 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 you stop counting once you hit 18. That's yeah. the payment stop. Yeah, yeah. when the payment right. stopped. Hey, that's right. I was like, yeah, that ex bitch couldn't spend no more money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hostera. We're going back to California. Oh god! All right. Um, let me find it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Is this god the LS, we have LASD like deputy? Forty articles to talk about. Tonight? Twelve. We always do twelve. <laughs> no, we went off a couple times and had good rants, like you I, know, yeah, I know, and ability to understand people's medical. I needs. just got a bunch of want to be uh, weed heads with me. So go ahead. LASD <laughs> deputy accused of trying to cover up DUI crash after colleague wrecks his cruiser. Now, can I say that I have witnessed this before in my career? Yes. Which How say? they thought that in 2023 they were going to get away with it, with everybody having body cameras. Your guys, yeah, it's time to hang it up and retire. So uh, there was a deputy that was involved in a crash, um, and he was drunk. So the officers uh, arrived on scene, hurried up and called his wife and got him in the passenger seat of that car and got him off the scene and worked the accident, cleaned it up and made it look like nothing ever happened. Um, Problem is, somebody found out about it. Um, So when they found out about it, of course, it has to come to light. And then all the dominoes fall out from underneath the uh, bad actors. So uh, I do believe... They are fired and being prosecuted yeah. for several uh, different laws. Um, I think they should have just been terminated um, if they were old enough to retire, force retirement, get them off the field. Because like I said, you know, the 90s and 2000s, maybe that would have flown as, as long as there was nobody injured, no property damage. 
in 2023, guys, you, nope, you nah, can't look out for your nah, buddy. There's a crash. Be on camera. So that's what I'm going to say. Respect for the guy because I know what he was trying to do. But nowadays, involving the crash and stuff like that, yeah, you should have just, you know, can't. you just can't do it. Can't. Like I said, I understand where the guy's coming from. Trust me. And, and if but, I was the officer that wrecked the car, I would never want to put an officer in that position, I would say, just like the other officer did. Put them on the first yeah, go. Just, just, can't, just can't do that nowadays, guys. Uh, you know, no. you know. Like I said, I know what he was trying to do. He was just trying to save his buddy, but uh, nowadays he just don't drink and drive. You can't make stupid mistakes like that. Cause, uh, well, that's it. I mean, you've got to imagine nowadays everybody looks at us in kind of the uh, the microscope like Iceman does with marijuana. You uh, you can't have any wiggle room. Um, and there's so much of it. This last one, we're going to Seattle. No, another fucked up place. Another fucked oh, up place. Oh, well, they're place. always fun. They have, like, those chop zones and stuff, right? Well, the the cops got called to a house. Uh, let's see what they get called to the house about. Yeah, they did have the chop zone, but they got defunded. No. <laughs> poor, poor chop zone. What? Did it get chopped down? Uh, anyway, they go to arrest this man on... Uh, what were they going over there for? They responded to the home because of a burglary. They found a guy in the garage, okay? And uh, they did have a teenager that was in the house who was too afraid to come out. So I'm thinking this guy broke in or something. Uh, and uh, the, the kid called and stuff like that. And uh, they did find the bad guy in the garage. And uh, this occurred. Me pull 11, the video no up. cops allowed. That's what the San Francisco we Police saw Officers this Association claims I know we saw is that. the policy. Yeah. Ready? Give me a stack of three. You got it. Some nice gloves. You got it. You want a boot? Yeah. Seattle Police! We're checking inside. Water can and that door open. Does it? Yeah, I heard banging inside. You got it, but one more. Ooh, that pretty, big, that pretty big good. Dude, that's a heavy set big, dude. Big right dude. Two, two shoulders to the door and it come open. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. <laughs> Seattle Police, we're checking inside. You see that right there? Yeah, the knob. That, no, that's a deadbolt. The deadbolt oh, was. Oh, he gl- busted the whole frame out that yes. son of a bitch. It didn't just pop it. The deadbolt was locked. He ripped it through the frame. That's a hell of a shoulder. That's all I gotta say. Dude, that dude weighs a good <laughs> bit. He boy. took that deadbolt locked. Took it out with two shoulder hits. Make a presence known. Crush. Hey, Doc. Hey, get your hands up now. Get him up. This is the fun part about to start. Y'all watch this. They, he, they sitting in the car? Bad guys in the car. Oh. Kid was hiding. Okay. Leave them. Leave the hands in the air. Hey, leave I got that hands same. in the air. I got the oh, same pulley system for my bikes. Just to look. I, I just, just observing. Now. You got a second? Hey, put it down. 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 He's got a, he's got a hammer in his left. Hey, one, one, keep lethal. Do Open the door. Now, I'm sure this is the homeowner's car, too. So this dude done broke into the house. Now the window's about to get busted out the car. This poor person that owns this house. Open the door right now. Open it now. Open the door or we'll bust it open. Open the door or we'll bust it open. Open the door. Ready? Let's see what he's doing, Damn, huh? What do you use the bus at window? With? It's a window punch. Uh, you see what he's doing, though, right? He's drinking gas. This dude's chugging fucking gasoline like it's a Slurpee. Well, I wasn't mean, there wasn't there a whole movement of people I, I, did that called I, the Moon? I'm just I shit? don't know. I'm just wondering, uh-huh. was it regular unleaded or super? What? That's ga- That's when you use a damn. Uh, that's when you use a water cannon. <laughs> oh, 
Well, yeah, because anything else will ignite it. Just think, yeah, right just, now, just, think, just think if somebody tased him about right now. Well, you remember that used to happen when people would carry oil-based OC spray? They would spray people, and then the new officer on scene would end up sp- or hitting them with the taser. It would instantly catch them on fire. Yeah, but this dude's um, chugging so his – he's drinking his gas like it's a, a, a Slurpee from 7-Eleven. What the – Oh, God. Oh, I wonder if they charged him with theft of that gas. They had to blur out his butt crack. That he probably's got glass in that's all over the ground. That's gotta hurt. Boy, that's got to suck getting handcuffed while you choking on gasoline. <laughs> right? <Fuck. laughs> yeah, Mary, that officer detective was shot in the shoulder. Is currently- uh, that's, a, uh, that's a whole different uh, thing. That's not what uh, – but anyway, yeah, the guy got arrested on a charge. I, like I said, I think they should have charged him with theft of gas. Uh, <laughs> you would. Uh, do you, you think – Did he steal the gas? How, yeah, but how, you, how you put a value – you got to put a value on the I gas that he drank. But if he got to jail and he was farting – can you think he'd say, "Excuse me, I'm full of gas"? I mean, like Dude, literally, you don't, you don't just he's drink full gasoline of gas. And fart. You you get drink that much gasoline, you die. There, I mean, but, no, but hit, you, what happened if he started backfiring? If it was regular unleaded and he needed super? Yeah, he. I mean, that's as good as dead as you can get if he don't get medical <laughs> assistance like ASAP. I mean, yeah, yeah. Billy, Billy said now he's gonna puke all over them. Co- yeah, I know. You right. You better ride with a. <laughs> yeah, you better ride with a rag. That's the only man. thing to save his life. You gonna have to ride with a uh, a rag around his. I'm mouth. sure they so called he, the boo boo bus. He probably had to go. You know, they took him to the hospital. I'm sure they had to call the boo boo bus. So. Could have done that shit back in the eighties. Nah. Got you some smoke. You light up a cigarette and blow the whole squad car up. Yep. Hey, no. uh, you know that that kind of reminds me. They, we got on a chase one day. He stole some stuff. He was drunk as shit. He was almost four times the legal limit. We pull him over. Everybody's got their tasers out, and that dude's chugging a fifth of Jack, and uh, he damn near almost coded going. <laughs> Thank God he was in the sergeant's car. He had to bring him to the hospital because that dude couldn't stand up. But he could drive. That was the straightest, slow speed, his <laughs> slow, slowest speed chase ever. I don't know how he knew where he was going. Well, he knew he was going to enjoy at least one more good drink. Oh, last drink. Went. Yeah. All right. We're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna give you all the hot nut stories, and then I'm gonna go over the uh, comments for the. Uh, the free T-shirt. Hopefully, guys, if people didn't get no votes. Last time I checked, or oh, Roy P and had T- the most votes. And T Bird. Oh, she didn't. Even, she didn't probably. Didn't You're right. I don't got the most votes. Uh, you don't count. I didn't even see it to vote. You don't count. I didn't but even, I thought you, we were going to agree on that. If no, I buy no, land, you I can't. Buy no. A t-shirt. Well, you can buy it then. I didn't even see it. Well, did it land on me? I don't know. We'll find out. We're going to vote. We're going to. I'm putting Hot Nut Story out first. Calm down. All right. I'm going to say the first one is we're going to do the first hot nut is the news crew that was trying to do news on the robbery. Oh, yeah, and got no, that, that's fucking hot. Yeah, so that's hot nut. That, that, they aren't. Uh, so that's yours. So we got the uh, we got the Kentucky officer that never got to even be a cop before he got fired for DWI. That's my hot nuts. He's just a dumbass. That's my hot nuts. Then we got. Uh, don't, don't fuck hot nuts. <laughs> and I'm going to go with the Florida bakery is mine because them motherfuckers pissed me off. So that's the three we're going to vote on. Y'all here voting on? We got the uh, news crew that got robbed in Chicago, the Kentucky officer that didn't make being a cop 24 hours, and the, the bakery. That He's my hot nuts. Uh, she says it keeps freezing up on her, so it's hard to watch. Uh, sorry. I don't know what, you know. So, so that's it. So I'm going to go look. I, I on. hate when my TikTok does that and it pops up and it says your internet's not not stable. Yeah, I'm like I'm not stable either. Show me the video. <laughs> hey, two negatives ought to make ought to make a right, huh? All right. I guess it'll at least make a left. Hot, that's the ending. Where you got to do the hot notes? I am working on. Uh, 
I gotta go look at the t shirt Ter- stuff. Did Teresa Teresa uh, T Bird got a hot nuts? She bought no hot nuts. Don't know. I don't know. Wait, I'm just waiting. I'm voting on her, delay. her phone. It's she got the them stupid iPhones. I'm voting she's hot nuts for the stupid iPhone. So let me see what we got. Let me go down. Like I said, last time I had checked, I think uh Roy P. Had you trying to say thing. you're stealing your old lady's vote? That's what he's trying. I'm not going to let him do it. Did who he, who are you talking about? Me? Yeah. Yeah. You, that, that's some Joe Biden shit. Don't be trying to slide a Biden. Uh, she said the one the one I picked. The one Freebird picked. Which one did you pick? The the one DUI, the one, DUI. Day, one day cop. And then we got. One day cop. One day cop. We got the bakery. Yeah, it is freezing more than the daiquiri. Well, uh, I bought it. I bought Billy G agrees I with bought, me. I bought a new, uh, I bought a new uh, cable, but uh, I think it might be my router. I didn't have to go to Cox and ex- exchange. Yeah, you had that last week. Ex- I used the damn router I gave you. So it's from Florida. It ain't gonna work here. So it looks what, like uh, waterlogged. It looks like uh, Roy P got the uh, most votes. For oh, the uh, after show orgy, so uh, I missed that all together. I don't know how I after it. show orgy. The <laughs> hell, he got four votes. That's the most out of anybody. What? Uh, I what thought was it was the a, picture. The whole Stairs family or, uh, portrait. What was the picture? I don't even remember seeing this. Whole family portrait got uh, two. Ah, you know, you're not eligible. So, Roy, now P. we're just trying to give away more shirts. More shirts that way, my stats can be bumped. So, so Roy, <laughs> so so Roy, so Roy P. Uh, is going to win the T-shirt. Let me make sure there ain't nothing on the one that uh, I shared the other ones real fast. He will make sure that he rubs his hands all over it before it goes in the box. Uh, I'm. I really won't see it, but um, you can nope, that's picture. it. You gonna send a picture of your hands with the shirt? No. He might even he might even wear it for the day. So I might take a pic. I ought to take a picture hand. of my hands and have it put on the shirt for him. There you go. That would be perfect for Roy. Yes, indeed. So grabbing some ass cheeks. It looks like the drunk Kentucky <laughs> cop is the winner. Of the hot nuts. He's just a dumbass. Hot and he'll nuts. never be eligible to be a cop again either. No, he wasted how much time I mean, on going geez. to academy? Right. They never even got yep, to be a cop. Yep, went to the academy, learned all that shit, spent all that money, all that time. My, and maybe somebody didn't like nothing. him in the academy, they set him up. I doubt it. He just made a dumbass mistake. Now, that is, that is possible. Dumb I have seen that happen. He, I, I've seen, you know, guys got, that are really mad because they got promotion passed, and they'll take everybody out for a drink, and then they'll try to get you nailed to see you in the parking lot. It does happen. He got drunk, drove, and crashed his car. Come on. That's his choice. Right, he got in the car. Now, I would always say that Uber nowadays or Lyft is everywhere. I live in the podunk middle of nowhere, and I can get a Lyft or Uber 24-7 to any part of the city I want. So, that's, um, so that's there's no him. excuse anymore. No, that's on him. Not only that, I think Matt uh, still pays for something... Uh, there used to be a program where if you call a tow truck company and you tell them, look, man, I'm just too shit-faced. I got to get home, but I have to take my car. Can you tow it for me? And a lot of organizations like MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Drivers, was actually paying for those tows home so that they didn't have to hear the story of somebody got lost in a traffic accident. Mm. All right, everybody. I don't, I don't know if that's still in place. That is it uh, for this evening. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed the show. Uh, till we put the next one Love out. Love every one of you. Have a great night. Peace out. Remember that we are a lions, not sheepdogs. Wow. Because I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, I'm going to do shit my way. So you can go kick rocks, I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make. Yo, I got a lot of shit to say, so I'ma do this every day. I'll be writing things until I'm...